serious people who had stalkers. When did you first realize you were being stalked? When I couldn't get into my email, because it was currently logged in from a different location. After 10 minutes it was obvious that it wasn't a system error. Honestly, a very scary moment. When I would come home, and my blinds were turned in such a way that someone outside could see in. Even though I always put them back, the next day they would be turned. Then there was that time I found him hiding in my shower. Needless to say there was some restraining order action and a stay in jail. What happened when you found him in the shower? And were you getting ready to shower? As in were you naked? Or did you just happen to open the curtain? God damn that's scary. I'm a pretty non-threatening dude average height. Skinny but I couldn't imagine being a girl and being helpless to like 80-90% of guys just based on biology alone. I had gotten home from work, I was peeing, and I had that not alone feeling, and I pulled back the curtain and there he was. He was someone I knew, so it was not the same sensation, as if it had been a stranger there. I let him play it off, like he was making a prank on me. Once he left I had my locks changed and filed the restraining order within a few days. He violated the restraining order within 30 minutes of being served, and was immediately picked up by the police at his job. This is certainly a reader's condensed version of events, as there were many other things that occurred. I was playing with a girl who almost became my stepsister. We shared a bedroom, and she wanted to play with Barbies. I had this really weird feeling, and I looked up, and at the window. The light in the room, made it so I could only see our reflections. I decided to go up to the window and cup my hands to see. To my shock there was a car across the street, and inside was a man with a camera. I could tell he had a camera, because he was leaning the giant lens on the door of the car. What was really eerie is he didn't react or anything, when it was clear I noticed him. He just kept presumably snapping away. I ran and told my biological mom, that there was some guy taking pictures through our window. My B.O. mom never believed me when bad stuff happened, but she humored me, by peeking out of the curtains. I watched the surprise register in her face which quickly turned to anger. She grabbed our most loyal and scary looking dog and went outside. The guy starts putting away the camera and then B.O. mom lets the dog off of her leash. By the time the guy started to speed away, our dog was about a foot from his door. After that, the man started showing up exclusively when my B.O. mom and her boyfriend weren't home. I was about 12 when this was going on and it was terrifying. My mother dated a man who turned out to be abusive. Once she ended this, he began to stalk us. In the beginning I didn't have a license. Later on, when I did, he started stalking both of us. Some clues we found were seeing odd cars driving slowly in the neighborhood. This isn't a sign by itself, but when combined with the same cars being seen nearby at other times, we figured it out. He knew people who owned new and used car dealerships. We started hearing from friends about things we had done that no one would really know about. Like my mom may have visited a relative or I went to a party with friends. Somehow a neighbor or other person asked how that was. We found out he was talking to these people as friends without them knowing what he was up to so they were volunteering information in a harmless way. Our trash started being disturbed. Found out he was going through it and taking out things like billing statements, letters, and so on. This was before privacy and identity theft were an issue. In the single worst example he had shown a letter I had written to a prospective girlfriend to a friend of his I threw out my drafts and accidentally left it there. I just happened to see it when I was there and the mutual friend told me that she thought the guy had it to proofread it for me. Humiliating. I noticed once I had my license I was being followed when I was out on country roads and so on. Even through college he did it on occasion when people in my hometown knew when I had gone dancing, or whatever at clubs. So, all in all, just be vigilant. If you ever feel someone is following you be it a stalker or a road rage person, do not go home. Go to a well lit area or a manned police station. Shred everything you throw away, if there's anything personal on it. Get a good cross cut shredder, that cuts into a tiny pieces. And these days call the police. They'll take it more seriously than they did in the past. 
when I got a text from a number one didn't recognize telling me to look outside. I lived in a first floor apartment and there were flowers and chocolates on my balcony. Moth Earth Peeper worked for it and was in a position that he had access to the employee records so he got my cell number and address out of it. What was even crazier was I told my upstairs neighbor to keep an eye out for him and she said he'd stalked her too. Apparently, this guy just had a reputation for stalking every new girl in town it was a smallish slash medium sized town. It escalated over the course of the year but was quite frankly more absurd than terrifying because the stuff he did was just so bizarre. Finally had to get a restraining order against him. When he tried to sneak onto my bus, we were both in high school and he was mentally disabled and much bigger than me. He was convinced I was his girlfriend and I had severe social anxiety and didn't know how to handle the situation. He'd always talk to me in the hallways and before I got on the bus, I generally tried to be nice, but not stay near him for too long. He asked to come to my house, but I lied and said my parents wouldn't like me inviting a boy over. He then tried to get on my bus, but the bus driver wouldn't let him. This happened a few times until the bus driver told a teacher, and then someone had to watch him while we waited for the bus. I thought that'd be the end of it, but he only got more obsessed with me after that. He memorized my schedule and would follow me in the hallway asking me to meet him somewhere outside of school. He was really scaring me, but I didn't think he knew what he was doing. I'd text my best friend to come help me. He was honestly my hero at the time. It pretty much came to a head after my grade 11 finals. I was done before my friends and was waiting outside the classroom alone when he found me. He grabbed me and sat on the floor with me in his lap. I was terrified, but I didn't know what to do. He asked me to kiss him, but I said no. He kissed me anyway. I started to cry, and then a teacher found us. They punished him, but I begged them not to tell my parents. I just wanted to forget it ever happened. For unrelated reasons I went to a different school for grade 12, and I heard he raped a girl that looked just like me. I've always felt really guilty. I should have said something, or done something to stop him. I'm still nervous around men, especially ones that look like him. When the certified letters arrived, I had moved twice since the last residence out of state and almost 900 miles away that he knew. Then my husband calls me while I'm at work to tell me some guy came to the house asking for me. We live in a very residential area. There's nowhere to just hang out. He had to have been waiting for me in a car. I get home. And less than 10 minutes later he is at my door. He did this one more time with multiple letters in between. I went to court. When some of my favorite clothes went missing out of my closet, and I got a text saying something to the degree of how I wasn't allowed to wear those cute things in front of other men anymore. This guy I met in a nightclub kept asking me where I live. It was a semi-small town. So I kinda gave vague directions like by the school. I just met him and did not want to give my physical address. A week later, I found flowers in my car with no note. The next day, found candy. Again with no note. At the end of the week, I found a note from the guy nightclub. He wrote that he found me and drove around all night till he seen my car. He went on saying that he has been watching me and knows what I like and did his gifts please me. He told me that he has been watching me go here and there. It started out like he was a romantic, but it turned creeping. At night, I started locking my car door. He would leave notes under my wiper blades. His notes were becoming more and more crazy. He was leaving a dead roses or trash on my car. One good thing is that he did not go up to my door. But at the time my brother was living there and father was home a lot. This took place in 1982 so had no cameras and the cops did not take this serious since he did not cause any bodily harm. The last thing he left on my car was a wig styrofoam head painted up with my hair and eye color on it with make on it as well and a knife sticking in the head with fake blood running down it. The guy was a nut job 